Hi, guys. Okay, so we are going to do the exercise problems from chapter one in the Libre Text problems, in the Libre Text uh, book. And this is the book by Tro. So the exercise problem. 1.1.1. So here we are talking about which fields of study are branches of science. So science, physiology, geophysics, agriculture, or politics. So if you look at it, physiology, it is physiology is a study of animals and plants. So all this relates to science. So that the answer to this one is yes. Geophysics, geophysics, because the geography and physics, so, so that is also field of science. Next comes agriculture. Agriculture may seem like it is just, in my opinion, it is also a scientific field because, you know, you are using a lot of data, you're using a lot of analysis, you use like, um, if you plant seeds, you, you use, look, look at like, at what distance you have to plant the seeds, you know, and then you study the patterns in the weather and all those things. So it's a very scientific field. So the answer is yes. But politics, I mean, ideally, it should also be scientific, but it is like, it's, it's it's like, you know, it's no, but still, you know, like sometimes they do like social experiments or they do um, like surveys and, and, and all these elections and all that does require, you know, some scientific info. So I, in my personal opinion, there is no place, no area anywhere on this, in the entire universe where there's no application of uh of, of science and especially chemistry. Chemistry is everywhere, as we know, okay? So that was one question here. Next is the, next question would be from the next section, and that is on the chemicals that compose ordinary things. So basically we talked about matter, molecules in our previous, you know, um, in the previous videos, but we are going to just cover only the, the exercise problems in these. So here is the next one about the hypothesis, about the theory, about doing the experiments and what makes the law, okay? So here again, um, sometimes students get confused about like, what is theory? Theory is obviously something, you know, vast piece of information that is derived from all the different, different, so many different other disciplines also. So basic knowledge, right? And that is theory. Next is the, oh, one second. So one minute, I'm, where is the Zoom? Can you see the slide? Can you see, what do you see? Resume recording here. So, so theory, we were talking about theory that it's a vast piece of knowledge that it, chemistry, as we know, is a central science. It comes from many different, you know, it derives its information from different disciplines and all the other disciplines depend on science because chemistry is, 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 is a study of matter, right? And matter is everywhere. So how do we, how how do we how how did the discipline of chemistry evolve or develop 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 develop? So first of all, for any scientific discipline, observation is very important. So you observe, and then after that, you keep seeing if you keep seeing the patterns or you start observing like continuously, or if you see it, even if you see it once in a while. So that is your observation. Nothing wrong, nothing right with it. It is what it is. It's it's an observation. Next comes you build an educated guess. Educated guess comes from some kind of a hypothesis, some kind of like a, a theory, like what is already known or what people may assume, like it could be because of that. Then you develop these experiments. Experiments are a set of steps that you need to take to do, gather data, analyze the data, and then prove the hypothesis if your hypothesis was right or wrong. Again, nothing right or wrong with the overall, you know, conducting experiments. It is just main thing is you're trying to prove a point. So point is if you are, whether you, whether it is, it is, it is right or whether it is wrong. So nothing wrong if there's no such thing as a failed experiment. Failed experiment doesn't, it just means that the, it was a faulty hypothesis. So the, your faith, your belief, or your hypothesis, your educated guess was proved wrong. That's what it is. So in experiment, you set up these steps, you build a, you know, you, 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 you conduct an experiment using the apparatuses, using some kind of, um, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, equipment, then you gather data, and then you do the data with that data, you see the patterns in the data. And with the patterns in the data, you then finally see if, if those patterns keep repeating, then it becomes a 
law. So let's look at this scenario now. In this exercise scenario, classify each statement as law, a theory, an experiment, hypothesis, a qualitative observation, and a quantitative observation. So this is what it uncovered. Qualitative observation. Qualitative observation is um, when the uh, qualitative observations describe properties or occurrences in ways that do not rely on numbers. So, for example, the color change, the the whether something is uh, is is uh, a solid, liquid, gas, you know. So, or what is the smell? So that is a quality, which is just the quality of the observation. Quantitative observation uses the numbers, the measurements, and then the formulas and the units, those things. Okay. So let's look at this now here. Okay, classify. So measured amount of acids were added to Rolaids tablet to see whether it really consumes 47 times its weight in excess of the stomach acid. So here, this is this looks like a hypothesis because we are believing, we are already believing that Rolaids consumes 47 times its weight in excess uh, to in excess some stomach acid. So this seems like it's a hypothesis. Um, Oh, wait one second. Sorry. This is the hypothesis. Yes. Consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. This is the hypothesis, but the measured amount of acid was added. I didn't read that word added. So this, when you added it, you did an action. So that action means you conducted an experiment. So action is experiment, but this is your belief, the one that is in the, in the parenthesis. Okay. Next is the heat always flows from hot objects to cooler ones, not in the opposite direction. So this actually is a law now that the heat always flows from hot to cold. Pressure, hot pressure, high pressure to a low pressure, the winds blow from them. So it's always like higher concentration to a lower concentration. Uh, water flows from a higher height to a lower. So technically this is a law, but let's see what they're saying here. Yeah, so this has become a law because this has, this this has, uh, we have seen this in other other situations, like I said, flow of the heat, flow of water, flow of air, those things. Next is the universe was formed by a massive explosion that propelled matter into a vacuum. So the universe was formed. So, I mean, I mean, we have, um, we have, we know the Big Bang has occurred. The universe was, was formed by the massive explosion. So that massive explosion, they're referring to the Big Bang. And so we have, we have known, we have the, the, the things for it. So this, is it uh, a theory? Yeah, so it's like a knowledge. It's a knowledge. We have seen it. It's there. It's in the theory. It's in the theory. So theory is basically a body of knowledge. So Michael Jordan is the greatest pure shooter to ever play professional uh, to to ever play professional basketball. So Michael Jordan is the is the greatest pure shooter. I mean, this seems like just a belief system. It it could be a hypothesis because we are believing that he's the greatest pure shooter to ever play professional basketball. But there could be somebody better than him. So, in my opinion, this seems like um, a hypothesis. But yeah, but it could be you know somebody has to now. So that's a hypothesis. That's an educated guess. But somebody has to prove it wrong. So then they have to play with him. Okay, so that's 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 what the deal with the hypothesis is. Limestone is relatively insoluble in water, but dissolves readily in dilute acid with the evolution of a gas. So this is observation. Limestone is insoluble in water. So when, when you put the limestone in water, you see it's not soluble. Next thing, when you take it and you dissolve it in the dilute acid, then it gives you a gas. Uh, you know, so so this seems like this this is this is obviously this looks like an observation, okay. So these things. So you have to like think through, and uh, you know, so always the the summary is that you always make observations first, then formulate a hypothesis, test the hypothesis through the experiment, and then accept or modify the hypothesis, and develop a law or a theory if the if the experiments keep repeating. If bunch, I mean, if the results keep repeating, okay. How do you succeed as a chemist? How do you succeed as a scientist? So you have to have some kind of a personal discipline. So how to study chemistry? There are some ideas here you can watch, okay. Next is the, um, these are just some one exercise. So this chapter, interestingly, was giving you only one. So I'm going to stop this recording here. And then we're going to, in the next recording, we will do measurements and problem solving chapter two.